Greetings to all my fellow college football fans uh, who might be watching this on YouTube or Facebook or wherever else this video will be seen and shared. Time for week two Gator wrap up. Something I'm trying this year doing wrap ups of every game that the Florida Gators play. They just finished uh, week two of their uh, game against the University of South Florida Bulls. Um, <clears throat> it was a win for the Gators. It was a 42-20 uh, a to 20 victory. The Gators are now 2-0. Uh, they'll be 2-1 this time next week, but uh, that's another story. Um, the game was not without its uh, positives. It was not without its negatives. It was not without its little controversies. Um, well, let's start with the positives. I mean, and I'm getting a lot of stats from, uh, uh, from the score app I have on my phone. I also have ESPN, get, uh, stats pulled up because obviously we're playing with more than one quarterback and the score only lists the one quarterback, um, in their, um, in their, uh, um, stat list. Positives. Well, Florida offense uh, showed some signs of life again against inferior uh, quality opponent. But 666 yards of total offense uh, is not a bad uh, statistic, uh, no matter who you're playing. We had 363 yards of rushing offense, 303 yards of passing offense. Um. So that's good. I mean, uh, the Florida in the first two games has rushed for a lot of yardage. Uh, rushing game was something that was sorely lacking the past few years. Looks like we have a pretty good br uh, brace of uh, running backs. Looks like he's uh, led by Damian Pierce. Five carries, 55 yards, one touchdown. Uh, of course, our quarterbacks, our running quarterbacks, they put up even more yardage. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Defense um, played okay. 90, they gave up 95 yards of rushing, 188 yards of passing. So an improvement over last week when the Florida Atlantic quarterback torched our uh, defense for 261 yards. Uh, we got we cut that down to under 200 yards this time. So, improvement. Uh, downside, or downsides. Um, well, uh, our defensive secondary is worthless. Uh, they, they they are they're soft. Uh, they're undisciplined. Uh, they got a lot of pass interference penalties. They did finally manage to get an interception, which was nice. But still, they let a uh, team that was shut out last week, I believe they were shut out last week, they allowed uh, that team to score 20 points. So, obviously, the uh, defense led by uh, Todd Grantham, hashtag fire Grantham, uh, is proving once again in week two to be as worthless as they were the entire season of 2020. And with the next opponent coming up uh, in Gainesville, being the University of Alabama, uh, the Crimson Gumps, uh, and that high-powered offense defending national champions, they don't rebuild, they reload, that kind of thing. A defensive secondary that's phoning it in is going to get torched by the Alabama passing game. Running game uh, was stopped by our defensive line and uh, what we laughably call linebackers. So some signs of life there. But again, uh, you know, you can't really compare much to um, USF and FAU compared to what's coming next which is Ala frickin' Bama. Um, I've already predicted that the Florida Gators are not winning this game. I predicted that back 
in January 2nd of 2021. Here we're in um, September 12th, 2021. And my opinion hasn't changed after two weeks of watching the Florida Gators. They're not beating Alabama. The only way they beat Alabama is if their entire first team offense gets COVID. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Well, I could think of one person, but she doesn't play football. So what do we get for quarterbacks? Because we evidently have a quarterback controversy in Gainesville. We have our starter, Emory Jones, or as my friend, friends that are trolls uh, love to call him, Emily. Well, he played like Emily in some aspects. He's not very good at what he does at, at, at times. He, he, he looks like he lacks confidence. Uh, he lacks touch uh, on the ball. And he lacks judgment. I mean, one, one particular drive uh, was led by the backup quarterback, uh, AR-15, or Anthony Richardson. He drove the team down in, in only a couple of plays, all the way down into the red zone. I think it was with you know the eight yard line, maybe the five yard line, somewhere in there between the five and the eight. I can't remember exactly. And he got his helmet knocked off, so he had to leave the game because of the stupid helmet off rule, which is silliness. But college football is full so is full of silly rules. So they bring Emory Jones in. And he proceeds on a first and goal from well within the 10-yard line to go um, four and out. I mean, he, 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 he threw two very ill-advised passes, one of them into quadruple coverage. There was no way that guy, that our receiver was going to get that ball. And then he throws a fade in the middle of the end zone. He throws a, a tall fade to our tight end, and the tight end botched it. And even if he had caught it, he would have been out of bounds anyway because the ball's trajectory was too far back into the end zone. So he lacks touch. He lacks judgment. That, that second pass he threw into, into tight coverage. The first pass in that sequence he threw into quadruple coverage. He was lucky that ball wasn't picked off because the first two players that touched that ball were wearing green shirts, not white shirts. So... He went, I'm um, looking over my other screen here, forgive me. He went 14 of 22 for 151 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions that killed drives. It killed scoring drives. Anthony Richardson, our redshirt freshman, three of three, 152 yards, uh, two touchdowns, QBR rating of 100 versus a QBR rating for Jones of 47. Uh, his first two throws were touchdowns, long touchdowns. And the second and the third throw set up another touchdown. Richardson also had four carries for 115 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Emory Jones had 13 carries for 81 yards and a touchdown. Damian Pierce had five carries, 55 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Naquan Wright had seven carries for 36 yards. Demarcus Bowman, three carries for 33 yards. Malik Davis, seven carries for 22 yards. And Lorenzo Lindgren, Lindgren? five carries, 21 yards. A lot of rushing. A lot of people touching the ball in, in, in terms of rushing. It's three, six, seven individual rushers contributed to that 363-yard rushing performance for the Gators. So we have a, a quarterback controversy. We have a, uh, we have a three-year returning, three-year? Yeah, three-year returning starter, Emory Jones who Dan Mullen has already said that he's going to be the starter next week. We've got a really, really good-looking redshirt freshman, which um, gives a lot – he performs better, you know. I mean, just looking at him on, on the screen, 
he performs better, he has better judgment, he has more confidence, and he instills more confidence in the offense, uh, he's going to stay the backup. And also on that la on that touchdown run that he had, which was a very long touchdown run, he pulled up in the end zone like he had a hamstring problem. As of the time I'm making this video, I still don't know if it's a hamstring injury or it was just a cramp. The reports I've read are leaning towards it's a minor injury and he should be good to go for the Alabama game. I don't know. We'll see. Regardless, Dan Mullen has decided to start Emory Jones against Alabama, and that guarantees a loss. At least with Richardson, we, you know, we it looked like our offense was moving well and looked like we would have a shot. No, we don't have it. We're not going to beat Alabama, but I mean, generally, when you're a football coach, you put the best people out on the field that you think are going to win you the game. That's not happening so far. We've got a repeat of the Felipe Franks, Kyle Trask thing all over again. And I, I shudder to think that it's going to take an injury to Emory Jones to get Richardson on the field full time. A really sad to think that way because I don't want to see anybody injured. Of course, you know, everyone trolls um, uh, Mullen over, over this quarterback thing before, even though he has developed other quarterbacks besides the ones he's already developed, besides the two that he's working with now. And I can point to plenty of examples of quote coaches by our rivals that have made idiotic quarterback decisions and the one thing I can say about Dan Mullen is he didn't run a quarterback out of town. I wonder who I'm talking about. Hmm. Think on that one. Tight, 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 tight. So what else we got? One sack for the Gators. Two interceptions thrown. No fumbles. We didn't cause any fumbles either. Time of possession was dead even, about 30 minutes apiece. Third down efficiency was horrible, 4 for 12. Fourth down efficiency, 1 of 3. This just isn't going to, it just isn't good enough. It isn't good enough, especially on defense. I mean, our offense looks like they can move the ball so far. I mean, we haven't really come up against anybody, you know, tough on defense at the moment. Alabama's going to show us exactly what we're, we're made of or not made of. But our defense is hopeless. I mean, our secondary is SWFT soft. They can't cover. They make mistakes all the time. And these mistakes are extending other teams' drives. Our, our linebacker core is adequate, I guess that would be the word I would use, but mysteriously, they don't seem to be around very much. And our defensive front can't really pressure the quarterback. They seem to be able to stop the run okay, but they don't seem to be able to put any real pressure on the quarterback consistently. I mean, they did really well against FAU, but against USF, nothing. You know, and I, I don't know if we could argue that USF's quarterback is better than FAU's or their offensive line is better than FAU's. But this is not going to work against a team like Alabama. Hell, this isn't even going to work against a team like, you know, like Kentucky or Missouri or Tennessee. So, and that goes right to the defensive coordinator. And everyone knows that I've been all over getting rid of this fat piece of dreck for years now. Yes, years. As in more than two years. Years. Grantham needs to Grantham needed to be fired last year. Grantham is obviously not capable of coaching a defense. He's not. Nobody in college football will argue with me that Grantham is a bad DC. 
course, all, all the rivals that I, all, all my friends who were rivals to the Florida Gators say, you know, keep Grantham, extend Grantham, sign Grantham for a lifetime contract, you know. Yeah. Well, if, if the shoe were on the other foot, my friends, and in some cases it was, you got rid of that fat piece of shit faster than I could say fat piece of shit. Okay, so Grantham is the disease. The cure is firing him. Bring in anybody except Muschamp. Don't bring don't bring in Moose Dump. Bring in Moose Dump. I'm not watching the Gator football program anymore. At least not while he's around. Terrible. So overall, I mean, the Glitter Gators on Gator Nation on the Facebook group, Gator Nation, uh, they're all, you know, I, I mean, I put up my usual um, observations of, you know, the problems we have, also the positives, but, and all the Glitter Gators are type, 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 you know, you're not a Gator fan, go root for FSU, go be a Bulldog, go be a Vol, go root for somebody else, you're not a real fan, you don't know football, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as long as, you know, the Gators have a W, uh, uh, another notch in the W column, they don't care about, you know, a starting quarterback who looks lost. They don't care about uh, 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 um, our passing game not working as well as it should. They don't care about our defense is not up to the challenge of USF and FAU and are about to get their asses handed to them by Alabama. None of that matters to them. As long as they win the game, nothing, you know, it's all sunshine and unicorn farts. Well, my friends, it isn't. We're about to start SEC play. Um, and that's no laughing matter. We've already got two guaranteed losses coming up in, in Alabama and Georgia. LSU, I thought was going to be a loss, but I'm looking at it now and I'm saying, you know, maybe, maybe we could sneak up on them, especially if Richardson wins a starting job, maybe we could sneak up on them. Who knows? You know, Missouri's not going to be a pushover, but I think we can beat them. Kentucky's not going to be a pushover. I think we can beat them too. I'm not worried about Tennessee, South Carolina, or Vandy. Um, I'm not worried about Florida State. <laughs> hey, they just lost to an FCS school, for God's sake. And on the last play of the game, I laughed my... I, 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 I laughed. There was a, a lot of laughing going on when I saw that play unfold. That was some of the worst tackling I've seen that wasn't wearing a gator helmet. <laughs> That's pathetic. Anyway, um, this week is going to not be a lot of fun listening to all the gumps beat their chest about how they're going to tear the gators a new asshole. Well, anyone with a, with a football IQ above three it was a Gator fan knows that the Gators are not winning this game. So your crowing is a waste of energy. Uh, but go ahead, Gumps. You 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 do you. Uh, we already know what the outcome is going to be. That's you know just the way it is. It's going to be an embarrassing game. But the Gators are two and zero. I'm happy about that. I'm happy that they beat uh, an in-state rival. Rival. Um, I'm happy that Anthony Richardson's looking good and progressing. I wish Emory Jones would look better and progress, but I don't think he will. And I'm really unhappy that we still have Todd Grantham lumbering around the sidelines like a big fat hippopotamus without a clue in the world as how to do his job and earning too much money not doing it. But that's my thoughts on week two for the Florida Gators. Um, see what happens in week three. Maybe we can keep it respectable. Regardless, go Gators, screw you haters. <laughs>